Roark in his last start, four and a third, four earned runs, throwing to Caleb Joseph for the first time tonight. Roark has given up four earned runs in each of his last two starts, covering a total of nine and a third innings. So two down in the top of the first, and now Clint Frazier. Curveball, swing and a miss. Roark fans Frazier, and he rebounds after that leadoff walk to retire the next three to face him. And here is Davey Garcia on the mound. This will be his third start in his young major league career. He's been pretty good so far. So runner at first, two out, and Garcia ready to deal. Guerrero, a right-hand hitter, and the fastball is popped up right around the mound. Now who's going to catch it? It's the shortstop, Glaber Torres, right in back of the mound to make the catch. No runs, one hit, and one left at the end of one no score. Torres, who just has not gotten going, is hitting at 225, one home run, and six RBIs. Now here comes the 2 2 to Glaber. Swung on and hit high in the air to left field. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Glaber. It's Glaber Day. Glaber Torres hits one over the left center field wall to give the Yankees the lead. Like a good Glaber, Torres is there, and the Yankees have a 1 0 lead. Blue Jays now have two out, a runner back at first base. Derek Fisher, the batter. Joseph on the move again. And Fisher gives this one a ride right center field, and he's hit it out. Derek Fisher with a two run homer, and the Blue Jays take the lead. We have had some hitters step up over the last four games. Caleb Joseph hits a home run in his first start. Danny Jansen hits a grand slam. Jonathan Davis hits a two run home run and now Derek Fisher steps up and clobbers one over the wall in right field. Well we go to the top of the third and to the top of the order here's DJ who walked his first time. Driven out to right field and deep going back is Davis turning looking see ya. And the game is tied at two on the solo home run by LeMayu. Well, LeMayu does not change anything from Yankee Stadium or Salem Field. With that approach, barrel it up and it's up in the air tonight. It looks like the ball is flying in Buffalo. York only gave up two hits, but they were both home runs. And now he is out of the game and it's over to Ross Stripling. So now Wade's in scoring position. Here's Luke Voigt. There's a base hit through the right side. That is going to score Wade easily. So Voigt goes against the ship, picks up a single, his 30th ribby of the year, and the Yankees lead three to two. Voigt at second and Hicks at first with one down. And the batter is Clint Frazier, who has struck out and walked. And he got him. Big second out for Ross Stripling. So first and second, two outs. Here's Glaber Torres. Yankees lead three two. We're in the top of the fifth. Hit sharply and inside third and down the left field line. Voigt rounds third. He will score. Hicks rounds third. He's going to score. It's a two run double for Torres and the Yankees lead five to two. This is the start of something big. But so far another off speed pitch. He stays on it just enough off the end of the bat but right down the line. But so far tonight, a couple big hits with runners in scoring position as the tide turned a little bit. If you're a Yankee fan, you certainly hope so. Brett Gardner will start this at bat for New York. The 0 1 pitch is a curveball lifted in the air, right center field. Gretchik with a diving grab in left center field, robbing Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner can't buy a hit in this series, and Gritchick takes one away from him. And this ball slicing away from Gritchick off the left handed hitter's bat. He lays out and makes a terrific catch. He's done that a few times here in Buffalo. Oh, Davey Garcia comes out to start the seventh inning. It'll be VR, Joseph, and Fisher. And the pitch hit on the ground to second. Wade from shallow right throws to first. One pitch, one out. I, I will always hear Eric Kratz saying to me there are two kinds of people making their Major League debuts. One that believe they belong there and one that think I hope I do well. Davey Garcia is I belong here. Pitch to Joseph swung on and popped him up to shallow right. There's Frazier and he makes the catch and there are two way. That pitch hit in the air to right. Frazier toward right center to make the catch. Davey has another one, two, three. He has been brilliant. 
And I w would say this. He's a member of the rotation. <laughs> that that I actually can go on a limb and say. He's good. So they get a chance for Barucki to face two left-handed hitters among the three hitters that he faces. Tyler Wade will be the batter. Joseph coming over for a look. And he got it. What a play. Reaching in to the Blue Jays dugout. Terrific play by Caleb Joseph. So runners on the corners, one out. That brings up Clint Frazier. 3-2. And there's a base hit through the drawn in infield. Scoring is LeMayu. Hicks goes to third. It's an RBI single for Frazier. And the Yankees lead 6-2. to two. Now here is Glaber Torres. Now with runners at second and third. And the pitch is lined off the glove of Panic. Picked up by VR. Throws to first in time. What an odd play. Scoring is Hicks. And the Yankees take a 7 2 lead. Again, a ball just hit on the nose. And a short hops Panic. But a good reaction. But VR takes the out. Chapman, this is not a safe situation for him. This is the seventh game. And there are two away. Last line of defense is Joe Panic. Chapman deals the 0 2. Strike three, ball game over. And the Yankees stop the bleeding and they snap a five game losing streak.